Hello again guys, Karen Miller here, politifeast.com. Please visit my website. I have good information there on my blog. Today I wanted to explain uh, something about the Kalaloo because I'm going to be cooking a really delicious dish for you guys with the Kalaloo. So as you see here, you're watching this amaranth and this is called the red leaf, the red leaf. Now, when I was growing up, I knew nothing about this. We did not have this at all. But like I mentioned to you guys in the um, the French fries videos that I did with the borough, I live in a neighborhood with a lot of people from Bangladesh. And I shop at a store there and I find these there. Very easy to find. They are so delicious. But before I talk about this, I wanted to explain something because the reason why I wanted to explain this here, which is taro, this is from the taro plant or the dashing leaf. We call this dashing leaf or callaloo where I'm from. I grew up eating this as callaloo, calling this callaloo, you see, and this is the root of this plant. The taro plant. This is the, the the sheen here. This is the dasheen. I even ate this. We eat this as you know. You cook it like potatoes. But Doctor Sebi does not recommend these things. This is very very starchy. But what I wanted to say was this here. Some people I know from the Caribbean call this kalaloo. But when you see this on Doctor Sebi's list, this is not what he's talking about. Because this is not amaranth. This is not even from the amaranth family. This is from a family of plants called um, Aracia. And this is a species from this family. And this is the root of it. You see, they have some good dishes here. So I just wanted to to show you guys. So if you go to the store and you see this, it's also called elephant ears elephant ears this is not what he's talking about because this is not amaranth even though there are some people who call this kalaloo what dr sebi is talking about is this 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 is the true amaranth leaves this is what the people from bangladesh and east asia this is what they eat and also the jamaican kalaloo you see right here right here this grows all over the sidewalk i see this all over the sidewalk in brooklyn in queens in the bronx i see this all over it's in the park it's everywhere you shouldn't be hungry because you can just go pick this up in the park on the sidewalk if the dogs didn't pee on it and you can wash this up and cook it this is what the jamaicans call jamaican callaloo this right here and you can see this here this is where the amaranth seeds, this is where the seeds of the amaranth, this, those tiny, tiny seeds, this is where it's located. So the Jamaicans call this kalaloo. This is not what we call kalaloo where I came from. We also ate this, but not as much as that other thing that I showed you, the taro plant. So this is what Dr. Sebi is talking about. This or the red leaf here, if you can get it if you can get it and this as well this is completely red I also see this at the store I never bought this but I'm planning on buying this very soon this is also the amaranth it's completely red so it's either this or this if you go to the store and you see this this you can buy because I remember when I went to that store in my neighborhood and I saw this I was wondering what it is and I'm very curious and I want to explore and I want to try things and I said what the heck let me just buy it because the Bangladesh people are buying it so why not it looks like a leaf I could saute it and cook it so let me just do it and I did it and surprise surprise the funny thing is it tasted exactly like this this dashing leaf, leaf sorry the, 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 the t from the taro plant 
it tastes exactly which is strange because this is not from the same family whatsoever it's a completely different family to this here completely different family to the red leaf and um, this here the Jamaican Callaloo and there's another picture of it here this might look more familiar it's not it's not um yeah this here this might look more familiar this is all over all over i see them but this is in the spring and the summer you're not going to get this in the winter i see this in the farmer's market in the spring and the summer so these things are so so delicious and so i wanted to cook this but before i cook it i just wanted to explain the differences and to explain the confusion because on dr sebi's recommended list it's just callaloo that is stated and i know that there are some parts of the caribbean where this is what they call callaloo you see this is what they call callaloo i ate this every single sunday dinner time this here every sunday they said it has a lot of iron i don't know but this is not what dr sebi is referring to so i just wanted to give you that bit of information and I hope that you can walk down the street like I do and have easy access to these things here because it's just wonderful that I live in a neighborhood with people from Bangladesh and they have their businesses because they have to cater to their to their people and I have access to these things and I'm so lucky so I hope that you're as lucky as I am and I hope you find these things or maybe they might have it in a Chinatown. If you live near to a Chinatown, they might just have it. You should go and explore and see what is in your markets, you know, your Chinatowns, your East Asian markets, even the European markets. Some, sometimes you might find things there. So I'm going to cook this for you now and um, I hope you do it and I hope you enjoy it. Take care. So guys, here is the red leaf or the amaranth. See, it's called red leaf because it has these red marks on the back. You can see it clearly on the back. And I just wanted to show you this here. This is where the seeds come from. This here. And if you look at the Jamaican Callaloo, you can see that it has this at the end of the plant as well. This right here. So these are all related. Okay, this is the red leaf, the amaranth. So we're going to cook this. So I clean this. I wash this. This is already clean. Make sure that you immerse your Callaloo in water to remove the dust and whatever grime. And sometimes I use some vinegar, white vinegar, just for cleaning, not for eating. White vinegar and some salt to clean this properly and to make sure that everything is, you know, the, the dust is, is gone from it. So I'm going to rinse this out and then we're going to start cooking this. I'm going to chop it up and we're going to start cooking it. So guys, I'm going to put some okra in my amaranth. I wasn't planning on doing that, but I found some in my refrigerator. And, you know, this is about a cup and a half. You know me and measurements. I don't know. I just found some in the refrigerator and I decided to add it in there. So I'm going to add it in. Okay, so clean it, chop it up. This is fresh. You can use frozen ones, like a box of frozen ones. This is a bunch. I cannot tell you how much it is. I went to the Bangladesh market and I found a bunch. So I again, I cannot tell you how much you have to use your discretion. So I'm going to chop this up like that. We're going to chop this up and we're going to cook it. So you chop it up like that. And you know, I just wanted to show you something. These stalks here, they're kind of tough, but what you have to do is you have to remove. I think I already removed it. You see? You bend it and you peel. You see, it can peel off. You see, like this can be peeled off like that. But I don't think you need to do that. I think it's going to be fine. I think once you boil it, it's going to just get, it's going to get soft. 
So we're gonna chop this up like that. Chop, 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 and then we're gonna get cooking. So I'm gonna finish this up and then we get to the pot. All right, guys, let's cook this kalaloo, kalaloo and okra, Caribbean style. Put some oil in that pot, grapeseed oil. We have some onions here. This is, uh, I'm putting this in whole. Not whole, but roughly chopped. This is a medium sized red onion. I love red onions. That's all I cook with. If we're talking about color and things that are colored are better than things that are white, then, you know. Then I have three scallions here, lots of scallions. This is on medium heat. I'm going to add some pepper flakes. And we are going to salt this a little bit. But again, salt to taste. I'm going to put two teaspoons of salt here. Salt to taste. We're going to stir this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a little curry like. I'm going to do a curry because I'm going to use the immersion blender for this. So this is why you can put this in whole. It's, it doesn't matter and it's going to cook down anyway. So let's add the tomatoes. I have one chopped tomato. And I'm going to put these habanero peppers. These are not hot at all. I found these at Whole Foods. I think this is even a hybrid because they don't look like habanero peppers. Habanero peppers, they're not long. They're more like short and round. These are not hot at all I think this is a hybrid but this is what I have so I'm going to put two of these you know you know I fish this out at the end and this is not opened at all so it's just flavor it's not heat it's flavor a little bit of heat but flavor you don't have to this is optional as long as you don't puncture it it's gonna be fine And then you remove it at the end. Now I'm going to add, I don't know, I think I need a little bit more oil in here. This is some fenugreek that I, that I, um, I'm going to put all of this. It's about two tablespoons. I like to, um, process my fenugreek I buy it whole and I process it myself so this is about it this is all the spices that are going in there so let this cook you see I don't know if I I don't remember showing you what the fenugreek looks like this is the fenugreek this is the fenugreek organic fenugreek and I like to buy it whole. I don't like to buy powders because they they just go bad very quickly. So you buy the seeds and you process it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my Kalaloo. This is smelling good. I'm going to add my Kalaloo, Kalaloo leaf. This is going to cook down, of course. I'm sure you know that with these leafy vegetables. You know, like spinach, they cook down. So this is a lot. It looks like a lot, but it's going to cook down. 
and just the little bit of okra that I found in my refrigerator and now I'm going to add some coconut milk to this I have a can of coconut milk is what does it say here 13.5 ounces I'm going to do about half of that half of this can of coconut milk and I'm going to add a little bit of water not a lot because this is going to produce a lot of water and that's it we're gonna cover this and then when this boils down we're going to mix in the the aromatics into you know but the thing is this is going to infuse the stuff at the bottom the onions the tomatoes the scallions you cover the pot and it's going to infuse all of this on the top here and then once this is cooked down we're going to mix everything in but this is how I do it I'm just gonna wash out the spoon here okay so I'm going to cover this pot cover this pot medium low and get back in about 10-15 minutes so I just wanted to show you this this has been cooking for about 20 minutes now and it's cooked down you see it was here and now it's all the way down there you see our habanero is still intact it's still intact it's just for flavor as long as you don't puncture it it's fine so you see you can see the creaminess of the um, the coconut milk where are you mr. habanero okay there's the other one it's intact don't try this at home okay this is optional you don't have to do this um, see we can see the little pieces of okra now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more water I'm going to cover this and let this simmer and cook for an hour See, I'm you see I'm covering this see with the water like this so it looks like that okay and you cover it and you let it simmer on medium low for an hour for an hour this is smelling so good this is gonna be delicious so we cover it So here we have our Kalaloo and it's been cooking now for a little over an hour and I mean this smells so 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 good I mean there's nothing like coconut I mean coconut makes everything better so I'm looking for Mr. and Mrs. Habanero here oh look like the thing came off but that's okay that's why I said don't try this at home the stem came off did it fall <laughs> it fell down okay where's the other one you know we like a lot of heat in our family so and this heat I'm telling you from this this pepper here is really nothing you see the uh, you see this is like a real hybrid I swear to God because you know the other habaneros the stem always stay intact I'm gonna stop buying this pepper from Whole Foods okay so you remove your habanero if this is what you did and now I'm going to take the immersion blender and pull this together you could leave this just like that you could um uncover the pot 
and let some of the water evaporate and eat it like this you don't have to do anything like immersion blender and all of that stuff if I were doing a Kalaloo soup I would do the immersion blender and do it really really fine but I don't want to do this too fine I want to see like little chunks I want this to be more like a stew so I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit and get my immersion blender and see you do this I really don't want this too mushy so this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to have this cook some you see this is all I don't want to do this anymore this is good this is good I don't want to do this anymore if I were doing a Kalaloo soup which I think I'll show you guys how I do my Kalaloo soup it's basically this I mean I don't even think I have to do a separate video you do exactly this but you mush it up really good and then I would add some dumplings to that so maybe I do make the soup you know you guys can request it if you want me to do the Kalaloo soup because I'm going to add some other things to it. so I like this how this looks it has some pieces in it so I'm going to uncover the part and let this cook down a little bit more because I want this more like a stew all right so I'll get back to you so guys here we have our Kalaloo and you see it's a bit stewy see it's not soupy you can still see whole pieces in it this is how I want it this is how I want it this is still bubbling I have the stove on low so it's simmering and it boiled down this is how I want it and you might be wondering what this is here this is my dinner it is Sunday 7:33, and I was going to do a big spread on the table but um, I'm exhausted so this is what I'm going to have for dinner this is quinoa here this is the red quinoa and the white quinoa I like to mix and match so I always cook red and and white quinoa I never cook red or white by itself I always mix it I have two pieces of fried ripe plantains for some sweetness and balance and here we have the nopales and it's cooked down and it's looking good and again it's not soupy so I had this simmering here now for over half an hour so it's cooked down and all of that slipperiness is gone from it and this is looking good I'm going to put some in my plate next to my quinoa this is my dinner and I'm gonna use the same spoon for the Kalaloo and I'm going to put some Kalaloo over here and this is it folks this is my dinner with a bowl of salad You know, I always have a salad. This is uh, romaine lettuce and some watercress. I love, love watercress. It has lots of minerals and vitamins in it. It even has vitamin K. This is my salad. I'm going to some olive oil and some salt and that's it. And some Seville oranges. I'm going to make a salad dressing with the Seville oranges, some uh, olive oil and some salt and that's it and I drizzle it and that's it that's my dinner and when you eat like that it's you're not gonna go back to eating meat this is so so delicious this and this here I wanted to tell you that you can add uh, powdered coriander to this or the um, the fresh cilantro or culantro I think it's culantro. Culantro is different from cilantro. I think culantro is what is on Dr. Seppi's list. It's a flat, broader leaf. It's not the regular cilantro. But anyhow, you can add this here as well. It's just that I wanted to do this as simple as possible. But you can just 
go as far as you want with this and add other things you know within uh, the nutritional guide within that parameter uh, I'm using big words I don't know whatever came to my head so folks he, you know look at this plate again look at this plate again look at this plate doesn't it look good the nopales with tomato the callaloo the quinoa and a little bit of planting on the side Caribbean cannot live without this okay sweetness sweetness we all need some sweetness in our lives okay bye don't forget to like and subscribe